Alright guys, so any of y'all that have one of these Liberty Z 36 inches, you know that this is a problem. You can't get the 2.5 pin in there because of how it's made, like this orange thing's in the way. You can lower, if the deck is lower, you know there's a little more slight, you can like push on it while you're about to mow. But I use the, I would like to use this, um, I would like to use the 2.5 setting a little more. So here's my idea. Why could you not move this spacer right here over onto this side and then do the same back there? It's going to be hard to get to that one back there, but you still have enough clearance between the frame that I, I would, I believe that that will work and it still, it wouldn't be far enough over where it would like miss the pin out here on the outside. So that's what I'm wondering. So let's, I just got two 14 millimeter wrenches because that's what size it is because I know you're going to have to use a wrench on that back one anyway because it's going to be hard to reach up in there. Hopefully if I loosen this one, it'll be able to drop that back one down a little bit more because it's hard to get to that one. But either way, we're going to try it. So I'm going to put you on time lapse. We're going to see if we can, we'll take this one off first and try to move the spacer inside and try to do it back there. And let's see if we can fix this problem. This might be a video that Every Liberty Z 36 owner would need to know. So, let's try it. Alright guys, so you can see where it's like the paint's worn off. Where like I said, I would like force the bar over and use 2.5 still. Um, but what I end up having to do, and there's four bolts. I'll show you in a minute. But I end up having to take out this, uh, it's not a gas tank. It's like a fake gas tank where like the <laughs> key switch and stuff goes in this thing. There's two bolts on the bottom, washers and whatnot. Two bolts on the side. I'll show you about that in a minute. I end up, end up having to move that out of the way. And then once you kind of, you can leave it hanging there, leave it attached with the wires and stuff. But once you do that, you have more, definitely have more access to it. Um, and that's how you're going to end up having to do it. But so just like anything in life, it's a little harder than I thought, but I'll show you how it's going. Now guys, you see, this is not, I didn't know if it was just the spacer. I thought it was just this part, but it's like an insert. I don't know if you can see them too close to the camera like that. But I still think it can go in between those. Because see, like, the orange part is too small. But it fits in the black part and is on the outside. But I think it could go in between those and still fit in the black part and go between there. So that's what I'm going to try. It's hard because the deck, you know, want, you're kind of holding the weight of the deck. Which is not that bad on a 36. And then there's four bolts. Four bolts on the gas tank. Well... I'll show you that. I'll show you that in a minute. So, a little problem I ran into is, yes, I think... I'm uh, trying to film it. Get in here. So, yes, I think it's going to work. But the thing is, is when the bolt is on the outside, it will just slip right through this hole. See what I mean? And then, if you put a washer, if you put a washer, you won't have enough come through this it only has like one thread on the outs you know sticking out on here maybe one barely any so you can put a longer bolt because i have a lot of bolts but then you're going to be hitting that you're going to be hitting that uh metal so i'm going to try to just use the factory bolt and just put it in like the orange part first and kind of make it all because see it's really hard to get it in between there so i'm going to try to like fish it you know, like all at one shot, like start, like put this on the orange side because the hole's small on the orange side. So if I, I think if I have it facing this way, you can probably use the factory bolt and have it facing this way. Um, and then not add a washer, you know, just make it all go together like that. And I think that will work. So that's what I'm going to try. All right, guys, as you can see, I did get the bolt down in there. It was tough though, because it, it barely has enough to like get in. You got to really kind of finagle it in there and so i kind of feel like if you ran one that a bolt that was slightly longer i don't know that you would be able to get it between there i mean obviously you could take this whole thing apart that goes through the frame or whatever you could do that but anyway so i put the factory bolt back in there and kind of did it in one shot kind of had the insert there ready and kind of did that just like i told you just for good measure because it only gives you like one thread even from the factory on the outside, I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on these threads. And we'll try to get it back together. We'll do a couple Ugga Duggas. Not too much, though. 
and kind of tighten it up. We'll try to get this back together. And then you got four of these bolts just, just like this. And be careful because these are just going into your little insert on the tank. It is a little metal insert, but don't over tighten these. So you got two on the sides, you know, one right here, one down there, and then two on the bottom. But I'm going to try to get that stuff fixed first and then get this back together. All right. Let's time lapse it. The chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up, it's time to look at the end. All right, boys, moment of truth. I got it all put back together. Checking everything, it looks good. Um, and we're about to find out. You're about to find out real time with me if this worked. Here's my pin. 2.5. Right. Two and a half. What? Why did you make it goes so right good? down. Is that uh, for a thumbnail? Or look, it goes right down. Like a. Drops what right in there. Look, straight. Yeah. Um, and then let me see yeah, yeah. if it works. Did wow. It? It's never been this. Easy, easy stuff to do this. It's awesome. Let's also go ahead and we'll test like our on the the outer edge settings just to make sure we didn't do anything crazy over here. But it still has plenty enough metal to bite that one because you know I did I moved this whole plate. River, you're in front of the camera. Move this whole plate in, but it still will hit that pin, no problem. So now we can use 2.5 with ease. I don't see a problem with that. I think that's great. But it's not only 2.5, it's basically anything that's on this out... Hey, River, you're standing in front of the camera again. It's anything that's in this row of holes right here. Where's the camera? So, one and three quarter, two and a half, three and a quarter, and four inches. All of them over, all the way on this side, those holes, it wouldn't work. But now, it, I think we're in business. And the cool thing about it, the cool thing about it is, zero dollars and zero cents to do it. I mean, I put a little bit of my Loctite on these bolt nuts, but I don't even know that that was completely necessary. But zero dollars, you know, all I did was the spacer, that spacer was on the outside going in that way. And, you know, I basically just took it all apart and it's sticking in that way and I turned the bolt the other way just because I did the same thing on the back. You see, it used to be on the outside just like this. And now we have it in the middle. Um, you still, you see, I still have, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to see. Uh, maybe hard to see, but I still have room. Like I didn't bring it in so far. It shouldn't even get close to that frame still. There's still room between the frame. And that, so, just still work. You know, I'm not gonna mow with it today because I'll let that Loctite dry on those nuts. But it, it's it's just blue Loctite. It's in a red, see, blue. So you can remove it, but. So we'll let that dry. I already mowed my yard anyway. There's really nothing I'm gonna mow, but. Uh, yeah, you can see all these holes. Anything on the inside right here, it wouldn't work. For now it works. So any of you guys that have a Liberty Z that has this problem with those heights these heights so four three and a quarter two and a half and one and three quarter any of these holes basically wouldn't work but now we're good so thank you for watching it's early in the morning going to church in a little bit i'm just trying to get this fixed up so that way it's better for me and even if i decide to sell this mower that way it'll be better for whoever has it too <laughs> you know if they decide to do that it'll it'll be better for them so, and they'll be use, be able to use all the holes. But from the factory, you know, I think you should do this. It costs zero dollars. So, thank you for watching.